Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I present to you good news. All right. And Matt, who doesn't love good news? I know, right? This first story is bound to be one everyone loves. It's got all of the ingredients, talented students, hands-on learning, and food. Welcome to the 2015 Cooking Up Change competition, which took place at the Culinard at Virginia College. Culinary students from Reigns, Terry Parker, and Frank H. Peterson High Schools worked on a deadline to cook meals that meet USDA standards for school lunches. Man, all of those look so good. A panel of judges sampled their food, heard their presentations, and named a winner. Congratulations to these three seniors from Frank H. Peterson Academies of Technology. Their winning dish, a chicken hero with tzatziki sauce, Greek cucumber salad, and citrus parfait. They'll be moving on to the national competition in Washington, D.C. This is my third try, and I'm a senior, so I did that. Oh, it's been my mission since sophomore year to be able to win. I'm glad I finally won. I was here two years ago, and I just... Oh, I just can't believe it. We won. We're a team. It was a good experience. I'm glad I did it. I was really nervous before we came, but I liked it. I'm ready to compete again. As an added bonus, each member of the winning team got a surprise scholarship to Virginia College. <laughs> wow. Congrats. Okay, so students, staff, and faculty over at the Mount Hermon Exceptional Student Center know a thing or two about good news. After today, you guys can play on it all you want. Now, is that good news or what? The principal is talking about this brand new playground. It was officially unveiled in a ribbon cutting ceremony held in conjunction with the commencement of the school's Special Olympics. Retired Mount Hermon teacher Dr. Carol Wright tells us it had been years since the school had an active play space and she wanted to do something about it. With the help of many local partners, dedicated volunteers, and a $70,000 donation from the Rotary Club of Deerwood, Dr. Wright says the school's vision for an accessible playground came to life in about a year. Many of our families would like the students to get out. Movement is so important for everybody, and especially for our students because their opportunities are limited. So by having a totally accessible playground here, it opens up opportunities five days a week for our students that were not available to them. The school also surprised Dr. Wright with this special playground dedication, and it looks like the students are already enjoying themselves. Have fun. Over at the University of North Florida, these leaders were taking care of business and taking part in the It's Her Business Teen Entrepreneurship Conference. You're looking at video of high school girls working in groups and putting together creative business ideas. This conference is a one-day event that gives girls ages 15 to 18 a chance to hear and learn from successful local businesswomen. This is the 10th year of the conference and many of the 100 participants are Duval County Public School students. They're learning how to start a business and gaining valuable information. It's my responsibility to give back and to be able to share, you know, no matter how old you are, you start dreaming early so that you can put those things in place academically what you need to achieve that goal in college and then to come out and actually start that business. We're rising to the occasion now and I want to be a part of that movement to rise and be an example especially for little girls like my little sister I want to grow and be an example for the younger generation that's coming. What a great event. I'm pretty sure we'll have to watch out for these girls in the coming years. No doubt about that Matt. Our next story takes us to Andrew Jackson High School where students welcome two special guests. Math is so important we are often told that, particularly in communities of color, that we really don't know math, uh, but that's not true. That's Martin Luther King III speaking to students in Sabrina Hall's algebra class. King visited the school with U.S. Congresswoman Corrine Brown in order to learn more about the City Year Jacksonville team and their efforts in the school. After visiting Hall's class, King and Brown served as panelists in a special Q&A session with student leaders. They spoke about voting and the importance of education. Board members Paula D. Wright and Becky Couch also participated. What a wonderful opportunity for students and the school. All right, Vicki, for our last story, we're bringing you some good news you can use, starting with District 5 board member, Dr. Constance Hall. Our cameras were rolling as Dr. Hall hosted this special District 5 stakeholder meeting in the Duval County Public Schools Administration Building. Participants had a chance to hear an analysis of District 5, as well as brainstorm ideas for improvement and support for its schools. Finally, on Atlantic Coast High School. That's where Dr. Vitti, along with the board, kicked off a series of community meetings to help parents and community better understand the new state standards and assessments. We have a special section on our website dedicated to the Florida Standards Assessments. 
just visit duvalschools.org and click on the banner on the front page. And before we go, just a friendly reminder that we've got a brand new episode of Real School. Missed it? No problem. All of our episodes can be found on the district website under the Communications Department page. And I know right where that is. Well, Vicki, that's it for us today. Until our next edition of Good News in Schools, thanks for watching and have yourself a great day.